everyone, welcome back to my channel. We're going to be reviewing the Tartlet Toasted Palette today. Um, I do own the Tartlet and Bloom Palette and I absolutely love this. This is one of the first palettes I picked up and the formula to this is just so amazing. All the shades in here are just absolutely stunning and it's really easy to work with. So when I heard they were coming out with the Toasted Palette, I was so excited. Um, so this is the box that it comes in. I think this is a really nice looking box. Um, kind of has that fiery look to it. Uh, on the back it does show the ingredients and Tarte is cruelty free so you will see that little bunny right there in that corner. So keeping along with the box, the palette does look just the same. Uh, it has that little fire kind of background to it and it does say Tarte Toasted. Um, the back is just gold. I'm I'm not going to show you too much of that because I'm going to blind you. Um, now, the whole entire top half is a mirror. Um, so, you do get a full-size mirror with that. And these are your colors right here. That's upside down. <laughs> and these are your colors right here. I think the color selection is really, really pretty. Um, I do have a lot of thoughts on this. So, we will get to that as soon as we do these swatches. And we are just going to take it by Rose. your swatches um, I think the colors are really really pretty um, going into my thoughts okay <laughs> I have had a chance to play around with this um, quite a bit and there's some hits and then there's some misses in this um, now I did have difficulty with this crackle right here I think the color is beautiful and that would be uh let's see that's this one right here if you can see there is a sparkle in this color all right now i do have this in my outer v today and it was so hard to work with oh my gosh there was glitter everywhere it i mean the moment you touch this there's glitter flying you tap your brush there's glitter flying everywhere you put it in your on your lid and glitter is just flying everywhere it's flaking into my eyelashes and it's flaking all down here and it was just really really difficult to work with and of course by the time that I was done um, <laughs> there was no more glitter um, I don't know if you can see there's absolutely no glitter in my outer corner um, <laughs> but Maybe that's because it was flying everywhere. So I don't know if it was supposed to kind of stay with the color as I was using it on my lid, but it, that was not the case. Now, I did do another look where I kind of pat it on my lid, um, and the same thing was happening. There, The glitter was still going everywhere, so that is kind of a miss for me. Like I said, once the glitter is gone, I actually do enjoy the color as a outer V. Um, uh, color but as far as the glitter goes I think that was a mistake um, this one right here which is candle let's see one two three four which is this one right here this also has quite a bit of I don't want to say glitter because it's not really glitter but when I was working with it and I was putting it into my inner corner um, it was just kind of going everywhere so I really had to uh, be in control of that i used my uh, sigma e30 and i was still having um, a hard time kind of keeping this in a concentrated area so um, those two are really the only main issues that i run into with this palette i am going to do a side-by-side -side comparison of the tartlet toasted and the urban decay naked heat okay so let's see if i can do this this right here is your tartlet toasted palette and then, yes, this right here is your Urban Decay Naked Heat. So, um, okay, so 
I would say this right here, which is a flame, is very similar to uh, Scorched. Um, and then maybe Cozy, which I believe is this one right here. Yes. Uh, this one right here is kind of similar to Cayenne, which is right here. So aside from my swatches of the um, Naked Heat and the Toasted Palette, I'm actually also going to insert a picture, uh, kind of like a direct side-by-side, -side, um, and the photo credit will also be linked down below as well. So here is the picture. But other than that, the palettes definitely have different colors. Um, now, the blendability on this um, was actually really nice. It is true to the formula that I know and love from their Tartlet and Bloom. I would say there is maybe a little bit more kick up than I am used to, but that's not a deal breaker for me. If that is a deal breaker for you, then this palette is definitely not going to be for you because there is kick up, especially with this one right here which is cashmere. I have tons of kick up with that one. Not so much in the other ones, but definitely uh, cashmere. So I do have a sunset on my lid today, and I think that color is quite beautiful. So let's go ahead and sum this bad boy up. Um, once again, I think the color selection is nice. All right, so looking at these two colors, I do wish they kind of could have, I do wish they would have done a little bit of a different um, color selection uh, to me they look pretty similar especially in the pan it's just one is shimmer um, and the other one is a matte so these are both very light colors there is enough color variation in here to create a complete look which I do appreciate and of course the shimmer colors are gorgeous do you need both of these <laughs> you definitely don't need both of these um, if I had to choose between this one and the Urban Decay, yeah, I'm going to leave that one blank because I really can't choose. I love them both. <laughs> so, like I said, there was only two colors that I found to be similar. Um, the other color selection is definitely different. So, um, I definitely enjoy this one and I definitely enjoy this one. So I am quite happy with my purchase. If I had to give this stars, like, you know, however many out of five, I would definitely give this a four out of five um, with the last star missing because of the crackle and the candle, um, those two small issues. But everything else was blended beautifully. Uh, the color selection I did quite enjoy. So this is $46. Um, you can find this on the Tarte website. I don't believe it has gone to stores yet. Um, I do believe it's supposed to go to Sephora and Ulta. Um, I not quite sure if that is 100%. I will definitely have to double check that and leave that information down below. And so that is it for the Tartlet Toasted. If you guys did like this review, please give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button down below. You can also check me out on Instagram. I will have that link down below as well. And I will see you guys next time. Bye.